Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to understand the Moore finite state machine in detail. We will discuss what it is, how it works and we'll also draw its state diagram, state table and see a few practical examples and applications. So, let's get started. So, let's first discuss about finite state machine. So, finite state machine is a sequential logic circuit. So, digital circuits are divided into combinational circuits and sequential circuits. So, sequential circuit is where output depends on present input as well as past output or where we use flip-flops or memory element. So, finite state machine is a sequential logic circuit that moves through a series of states based on inputs and clock pulses. So, the term finite means it has a limited number of states. So, finite state machines are divided into two types, Moore FSM and Millet FSM. So, here in case of Moore FSM, output depends on present state. And in Millet FSM, output depends on present state as well as present input. It means in Millet FSM, output depends on what present output is as well as what external input is applied. Whereas in Moore FSM, next output depends on present output only. It doesn't depend on external input. So here, let's draw its block diagram first. So here we have three blocks. First is next state decoder. It means based on present state, what next state is like in case of counter, 3 bit counter. If present state is 0, 0, 0 in up counter, next state is 0, 0, 1. So first is next state decoder. Then next is memory or flip flops or resistors. And here we are using flip-flops. So, we have clock input. So, here we will apply clock input. And next is output decoder. So, external input is connected to next state decoder. Outputs of next state decoder are connected to flip-flops. So, they can be multiple outputs. And then outputs of those memory elements, it means present outputs are connected to output decoder. So, final output depends on present outputs. So, this is a final output. And here, this output of this memory element is fed back to next state decoder. So, this is block diagram of Moore finite state machine. Here, you need to remember in Moore FSM, output depends on present state only. But in case of Millet FSM, output depends on present state as well as present input. That is the basic difference between Millet and Moore FSM. So, here, we need to consider these six important parameters while designing Moore FSM. So, here, Q indicates finite state, set of states. So, let's say in case of 2-bit up counter, number of states are 4, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So, finite number of states. Sigma indicates set of input symbols. So, input can be 0 or 1 or it can be A, B, C. So, sigma is set of input symbols. Delta is set of output symbols. Del is transition function. And transition function determines next state. So, here next state depends on what? Present state as well as externally applied inputs. So, this next state, this next state decoder will decode output based on present states. Here present state is fed back to next state decoder. Present state as well as external inputs. See here, next state depends on present state and present input. But, Final output depends on present state only. Next is output function. So, output function depends on present state. And Q0 is initial state. It means when my up counter will start, it will start counting from let's say 00. So, 00 is my initial state. So, 
more fsmas where output depends on present state only so for every state there is one fixed output and that is why more machine is more complex as compared to mille machine it has more number of states when we have more number of state it means we need more number of flip flops to design that circuitry when we have more number of flip flops they will consume more power and also when we'll put them on chip they'll occupy more chip area so more machines are always complex as compared to mille machine they occupies more area they consume more power and they are slower as compared to mille machine so let's see how to draw state diagram and state table in moore machine i'll take one example i wanted to design a circuit which will detect two consecutive ones so when two cons consecutive ones will come suppose this is my circuit it has input it has clock and i have one output and the circuit is to determine or to uh, it is designed to check whether two consecutive ones are coming at input or not so when two consecutive ones will come output will become one otherwise output will remain zero so let's see how to draw state diagram for this so here i'll start with state s0 and in case of moore machine for every state output is fixed so we will get output one when two ones will come otherwise output will remain zero so here if one will come one is my correct bit it will go to next state and my next state is s1 so if one will come it will go to next state but entire sequence is not yet detected so output will remain zero but if zero will come zero is incorrect bit so it will remain in same state then at s1 when one will come one is my correct bit so it will go to s 2 and now output will become 1 because entire sequence is now detected but here if 0 will come if 0 will come then it will go back to previous state because transition to this state was when input was 0 then at s2 again if 1 will come if 1 will come it will go to state s1 because this can be my first one in a sequence so it is like this one and this second one and then my output is 1 and here if 0 will come again it will go back to my state s0 if input is 0 so you need to remember whenever it is not like always but here first transition was when input was 0 so whenever input is 0 then only system can come to s0 so this is state diagram for detecting two consecutive ones i have uploaded another video which explains the uh, mille machines and in that i have taken same example in that you will see there are only two states required to design this circuit using mille machines but here we need three states so see here in case of moore machine number of states is generally equals to number of length of sequence plus 1 so here length of sequence is 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 so this in this way we draw state diagram in moore fsm we need to write value of output inside this state now let's see how to write state table while drawing this state table you need to remember very important column is present state that is what present output is then next state it means what next output will be and then final output so number of states are s0 s1 and s2 so present state can be either s0 or s1 or s2 so if my present state is s0 and if input can be 0 or 1 there are two possibilities so if my input is 0 what is my next state it is s0 so next state is s0 but if my input is 1 then next state is s1 and for state s0 output is 0 if my present state is s1 and if input is 0 then my next state is s 
0 and if input is 1 my next state is s2 instead of s0 s1 s2 you can use a b c any name is okay for s1 output is 0 for state s2 if input is 0 it will go back to state s0 so next state is s0 and for state s2 if input is 1 it will go to state s1 so next state is s1 and for state s2 output is 1 so in this way we can write state table so this is all about moore machine now let's discuss applications of moore fsm applications are sequence detectors traffic light controller see in traffic light controller like let's say next state is red so after red green will come so based on present state next state can be determined password detector circuit and communication protocol design in case of counters we use moore fsm so in moore machine output depends on present state it is finite state machine it means it has limited number of states and these are the applications of Moore FSM. So this is all about Moore finite state machine. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to share it with your friends. And subscribe to my channel. And like it. Thank you so much for watching.